Hey there, Francis here. Today's video. Now, how does someone hear me when I call them on my cell phone or telephone? Hmm. Well, it seems of this as if the sound of my voice is just going into the telephone and coming out of their phone, but the sound wave isn't actually traveling down a line or through the air, maybe even to another country. So how is it that they hear me? Well, what actually happens is when you speak, your voice makes air particles move in a wave. This wave travels to an ear or anyone that's listening nearby, or it can travel into a microphone. And what a microphone does is it has a little piece of material that moves because the sound wave or the air pushes it and makes it move. It moves in exactly the same way as the sound. And on the back of this little piece of material is a magnet. This magnet, when it moves, creates an electrical signal in an electromagnet. Now what that means is that as the magnet gets closer, it pushes an electrical signal, for example, up, and as it gets further away, it pushes the electrical signal down. So you end up with an electrical wave that mimics exactly the sound wave. So what's actually happened is it's converted the sound of you speaking into an electrical wave. It's as if your voice is now in electricity. And now that your voice is in electricity, it can do all kinds of things. For example, it can move at the speed of light. It can get to the other side of the world in less than a second, which is incredibly useful if you want to talk to someone on the other side of the world. Because what happens is, as this electromagnetic wave goes down the cable and arrives at their telephone, it goes into another electromagnet. And this electromagnet does the exact same thing as the first one, but reversed. So it creates a magnetic wave that mimics the electrical wave that, remember, is in the form of your voice. And this moves another magnet, which is connected to another piece of material, which is a speaker. And this piece of material moves in exactly the same way as the electrical signal. As it moves, it pushes the air. And the air then moves as a wave in exactly the same way as the electrical signal, which is exactly the same as the voice that you spoke with, which means that your voice seems to come out of the phone on the other side of the world. But what's actually happened is it's gone from a sound wave to an electrical, electrical wave back to a sound wave again. And that's how it works. If you want to see more videos like this one, for example, what does gas actually do inside a car? Or how is it that a microwave can heat up your food but doesn't get hot itself, then go ahead and subscribe. And if you have your own question, then write it in the comments below and it could be featured in next week's video. Also, if you learned something, then give this video a thumbs up. See you next week.